Right, thanks everyone for joining us for another WKS podcast interview. This time I'm with uh, Porky Morecambe, um, who I think goes by the name of Porky's, is that right? Correct, it certainly is. Brilliant. Yeah. Brilliant. For the last... Sorry, go on, Kellen. No, I was just going to say, do you want to start off by telling us where it all started for you musically? It started in Wales. Okay. Up in the Langham Bay Hotel in the Mumbles. Right. So That's did you, where it started. But, so what, how you picked a guitar up for the first time then, was it? or? Well, I was actually working as a barman up there. Right. Okay. And... They had a big, huge ballroom, and they had an amplifier and a mic up there. And when I wasn't working, I'd go in the ballroom, there'd be nobody in there, and I'd switch the mic on and plug the guitar. I had an electric guitar at the time, plug the guitar in, and I used to be—I used to do some singing over there. Okay. And then all of a sudden, I had people coming in from the bars to listen, and that's oh. where it—that's where it all started. Right, so you're not you're sort of you've not been trained to sing then. It's just something you've got natural then. Yeah, my mother was a singer. Right. Okay. And my father was a, a bit of a multi instrumentalist, and my mother played piano as well. Right. So it, it runs in the family. Okay, brilliant. So whereabouts have you sort of played then? Well, in England or abroad? Anywhere you like, mate. Well, you know, where, you, what have you been sort of, what's your musical sort of progression, really? Well, I did a tour from Scotland right down to, well, right down to Cornwall. Um, I think I've played in nearly every single pub in Cornwall. Wow. Um, and that, I played in Singapore. Um, I did a lot in Spain. Um, Tenerife. Um, recently, I've been playing in Portugal. Right. Okay. So, do, do you do mainly do covers, or do you write your own stuff? I write my own stuff, and I do covers. Okay. What do you prefer, covers or writing? Whichever brings the money in. Okay. The, pro the problem is that people can't relate to new material. They can relate to covers, and they can say, oh, I remember when this was out in the charts and what have you, and I was so-and-so and so-and-so. But if I was to play one of my own numbers, they wouldn't be able to relate to it. Yeah, okay. But what I have done, just for a crack, is I've done one of my own numbers and said it's by John Denver, and it goes down really well. <laughs> Brilliant. And then, <laughs> Brilliant. And then I say, no, it isn't. It's one of my own, right? Fair enough. Fair enough. You know, so, have you have you have you put any of your music down onto I don't know CD or stuff or you know? Yeah, I've got um, a YouTube video out. With one on. I've got an EP okay. that I did quite a few years ago under the name of Contrast. Right. Okay. And there's four. Obviously, there's four numbers on that which I wrote. Right. Um, and took Alan Ross with me as bass player. Right. But unfortunately, Alan Ross has passed on now. But, um, but I'm in the middle of uh, writing some new stuff. Okay. Funny That's brilliant. Yeah, but I'm definitely still on the ball. So is it, I mean, lockdown-wise then, um, has it encouraged you to more mu write more music or the opposite? <sighs> well, to be quite honest, I, I was getting bored of playing the uh, guitar. Right. Um, you can only play so much. Um, besides that, I, I have a, another job as well. Right. So mm. I'm not just relying on music. Mm. But, um, yeah, the lockdown is definitely a bit of a bind. I mm. enjoy mm. playing on stage. Um, professionally, I enjoy playing because really that's... That's what I do. I'm a, a professional entertainer. Um, um, and luckily enough, I, I've got another profession as well. Right. 
So it keep, so, keeps, keeps the wolves at the, away from the door, really, then. Right, so, yeah. 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 Without, yeah. without a doubt. Yeah. But it's so, just, I'm the same as everybody else, all these other musicians, that um, it's definitely a bind in this lockdown. Mm. Yes, yeah. So what's you know when you write your own uh, songs, you know what's the what's the process for you? Do you find that it's the the music first or lyrics first or how's it sort of work? I find the music first, lyrics come afterwards. Okay. Do you, do you, write, do you write about certain themes or is it just whatever that's there for you? Um, I used to write about certain things quite a few years ago. Mm. Obviously, um, when I was married and divorced and all that jazz, right. but um, recently it's it's kind of gone full circle, and I I get the uh, melody, mm. and then I put the lyrics on top. Okay, and depends on how I'm feeling at the time. Yeah, no, I get that. You know? Yeah, I get that. So. Yeah, so, you know, if people, you mentioned an EP, so, you know, if people yeah. wanted to, to get hold of it or hear it, how, is there anywhere they can get hold of it? Oh, I wouldn't have thought, um, I wouldn't have thought there's a lot of them around anymore. There was one came up on eBay, funny enough. Okay. Yeah, the, the, the EP was called Come On Down. Right. By Contrast. Okay. Have you got any plans but, to, to do any more recording then? Um, yeah, when I get a couple of more um, numbers um, laid down, yeah. Right. Because I, get... I, I use the Cube. Ah, right, yeah. Is that the Haymore? You know, um, yeah. Right? Is that the one in Haymore, the Cube? Uh, in Penzance Way? No, that's, the Cube is... Um, uh, in between Red Ruth and uh, Nuki. Okay, right, yeah, yeah. I should know it myself. I thought there was one down here, but no, brilliant. Um, so, you know, if you musically, if you were talking to uh, a young version of yourself, what you know, what bit of advice would you give yourself back then? Buy a yacht and go and play abroad. <laughs> Fair play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Okay, so have you been given a bit of good advice about music? No. You haven't? You've just figured it all no. yourself then, is it? Yeah, nobody's ever told me to shut up or anything like that. <laughs> okay, uh, <thank> <laughs> yeah. mm. No, um, no, I've never had any advice. Um, I've just, I've always played and always sang. Yeah. I mean, what am I now? I'm 71 now. Okay. I'm 71 now. I started playing probably when I was 20. Mm. So what musicians so, do you admire then? You know, what, what, who were your inspirations? That's a $6 million question. Yeah. I'm at the moment, I'm playing Snow Patrol and stuff like that. Okay. But, uh, you know, it's... Um, <laughs> I, I, I go right through the board. I go right through the board. If somebody asks me to play a song, I can probably do it. Okay, brilliant. You know, it's, it's, I'm an entertainer. Um, yeah. Always have been. So it's the, uh, the... Sorry, mate. Carry on. Uh, Christopher Cross goes down really well. Right. I yeah. do like Christopher Cross. Have you have you got any sort of um, anything lined up for after the we come out of the lockdown and any? Pub gigs or anything like that? Well, I'm playing up at um, Hendra. At the um, Holiday Park? Yeah, um, but, but I've been playing up there ever since I've come back from Portugal. Right. Okay. Um, yeah, I've been, it's five years, I think, now. Right. Okay. And I play up there every season, and I do open air gigs up there as well. Oh, yeah, every so often, he has, um, they have an open air gig at the start of the season, they have an open air gig at the end of the season for the locals. Right. Yeah, if yeah. you've got any locals that um, can prove that they're local, yeah, yeah. got to yeah. say that nowadays, you can stay at the uh, holiday camp for um, a knockdown price. Okay. All but right. you have to prove that you're a local. 
Right. But I also um, I also do the big the big venue up there as well. And uh, yeah, because I know yeah. they do like a big bluegrass festival now and again, don't they? Yeah, yeah. Well, that there goes right up across the country. Right. That goes right up across the country. I play there, but I don't play for the um, bluegrass festival. I play actually in the Hendra itself. Right. So okay. So you've got I, all these blue. Sorry. I was going to say, you, you know, with your own songs, uh, the way you write, um, what kind of genre would you say you write to for your own personal stuff? Um, maybe Crosby, Stills, Nash and Young type things. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Some, somewhere in that line. Yeah. I mean, I was brought up with it in you know, that type of thing, Doobie Brothers. Um, but there again, I used to do a lot of uh, Bob Dylan and stuff like that when I started out. Yeah. Hell of a lot of it. Um, obviously, I, I still do it if I get um, asked for it. I never uh, never seem to forget the lyrics and whatever. No, that's but, good. Um, that's, yeah, yeah. So, so what's what's next then for for yourself for Porky? Then what's 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 next? Well, I've got to finish these couple of numbers off, which um, I've just been bought a recording studio to. Uh, sort that out a bit yeah to get it obviously sounding better um because i'm lucky i've got a music room here as well right but but um i might be doing a few gigs down in portugal okay. when the uh, when i'm allowed down there yeah i've already had an invite to go down and play but i'm i'm starting at uh, hendra in july right but the okay. season down in Portugal is longer. It starts earlier. Okay, no, that, that's really uh, good. Uh, yeah, that's probably where I'll be going. Right. Yeah, fair the play. Wife, the wife lets me. Okay. The wife don't go with you then. You go on your own, dear. You? <laughs> uh, she's um, got her own business. Okay. Brilliant. So she comes down maybe every couple of weeks or three weeks. Right. Okay. Besides that, we besides that we've got a big dog as well. Right. Yeah, so yeah. somebody has to look after the dog. Okay. Superb. So if anybody wants to book you for any kind of gigs and stuff, how do they get hold of you? Um. Obviously, I'm on Facebook. Yeah. Um. Do you want me to give you a phone number? No, no, no. That's fine. I mean, people could probably, like I say. Um, go through Facebook. Most people use well, Facebook nowadays, don't they? Yeah, that's it. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, if they put um, Porky's place in, it'll come up. Okay. Superb. Yeah. Right. Final question, mate, and I ask everybody this one. Um, is there anybody you'd like to thank for you being here musically now? The only people I'd like to thank are the actual punters that come and listen to me when I'm gigging. Right. You know, hopefully I'll be playing back in Newquay again, maybe Belushi's and around uh, there, because I used to do it anyway. Mm. But you never know what uh, is on the books this this summer because of the COVID. Yeah. But I'll definitely like to thank all my audiences over the years that has ever been to see me. Brilliant. You know, without a doubt. I was doing some TV stuff uh, back in the uh, late 70s and uh, 80s with mm -hmm. um, Westwood TV and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So uh, I've been been there, seen it and done it, but Fair I'm enough. not giving up. <laughs> yeah. I'm certainly not, certainly not giving up. Fair enough. But if you go and look on, put Sail Away in on YouTube, and I'm there. Okay. Brilliant. Absolutely right, brilliant. Look, no, it's been great talking to you. Um, good luck with, you know, what you're going to do, whether you're going to go to Portugal or wherever you go. You know, good luck and, and keep making music. Yeah, well, thanks for the interview. I enjoyed it. No worries. I'll speak to you soon, right. hopefully. Take care. Oh, you know where I am. Stay well. well. Cheers. Ciao.